and behold the 1986 nissan 300zx this is the na version the natural aspirated not the turbo sadly but it's a classic and i am proud to say i now own one and i'm now part of the z family it is honestly such a cool car to have um these past few days i've been driving it no haven't really had any problems with it but then again, I got it from a dealer, so they took really good care of this car. So basically, um, the way that this car came to me, it was bought brand new by this dude in 1986, bought it brand new, and he drove it as a daily driver amongst other cars that he owned, like some Ferraris and some Lambos. I know, crazy. He was driving a 300ZX compared to Lambos, but this was one of his daily driver cars and he ended up driving it up to about a hundred thousand miles it has, it has 104 000 to be exact but anyways long story short he started driving it you know took good care of the car and one day decided i'm not going to drive it no more and i'm just going to stop driving it and he left it in a, his yard <laughs> and i actually sat there for about 10 11 years actually no wait longer way longer than that because uh, i found his old registration papers inside the car and they say 2001 so i'm assuming 2001 is the last year he had this car in his possession so now basically that was you know i'm, I'm assuming this I, I don't know anything about the car exactly i have no spare change brother i'm sorry all right anyways so you know i think that that's when he stopped driving this car in 2001 and i just got this car this year 2021 so that's give or take 20 years of it sitting in his yard that's that's a long time but miraculously you know it was here in california thank god so there's no rust at all to the body it's immaculate the interior is pretty nice too to be honest you know for it sitting in a yard it's it's pretty nice you know it's got the velvet very intact these are retractable but you know the elastic gave away so you got to find a way to reattach that but the seats, you know, cloth never gives way. Cloth for the win. I mean, it's pretty good. The only thing that's fucked up is this dashboard. But, I mean, it's leather vinyl. And then there's a, like, plastic piece in the back. So I found this company called Dash Cap. So I'm probably going to buy one of those to fix this. And I'll just cut the ends so it'll go nicely. Because a new dashboard for this car is, like, $500. And then to install it is, like, $700. These car pieces are expensive. The cool thing about this car is you gotta really slam the doors because if you don't, it will not close. Look at, this is what I mean. So, a normal new car, you'd slam it like this. That shit, it's not closed. So when I drive with people, I tell them, slam that shit. But anyways, you know, the car is really good. I have no complaints about it. But then again, the dealer spent roughly $2,000 on this car. You know, they got a new radiator, master cylinder, uh, fuel pump, spark plugs, um, thermostat. Uh, what's some other things? Oh, new headlights because the headlights didn't work <laughs> after 20 years. I know, right? Crazy. But, uh, you know, after all that shit and, uh, you know, this, this is a very marketable dealer. It's a dealer that sells all types of exotic cars. And they sold this car to me for five thousand dollars it only has a hundred and four thousand miles on it ridiculous crazy so anyways that's enough talking about the exterior let's go ahead and pop the trunk show you what we're dealing with it's pretty cool i like it so you know it's got these buttons right here and then this button right here is where the trunk or the i mean the the hood i'm an idiot A little latch there we go all right so this is a notorious engine from the 80s for nissan but this is like i said not the turbo but you know it's a pretty nice car i'm not complaining at all you know it's, it's really good it's got a brand new battery amongst other things like the radiator but that's hidden underneath there yeah, it's a really cool car, you know. It's only 160 horsepower, this shit, so uh, it's not fast. <laughs> My Kia Optima is much faster than this, but just the sole purpose of owning it and being a part of the Z family and, you know, 
having you know an original dots in peace it's it's crazy to be a part of this i just i love it i feel like someone who drives one of the vw beetles why is there a leaf in here anyways so yeah this is what the hood like looks like it's pretty nice you know i've done my research on if it's possible to even turbo a na it's not <laughs> it is but it's not worth it because of the amount of problems you'll endure and then pieces for this car are so fucking hard to find that why would you want to do that to a car from the 80s like if you really want to make a car fast just buy a new car there'll be endless pieces you can continuously fuck it up and fix it but this car you fuck it up you gotta kind of get rid of it or unless you want to spend you know quite a price tag for an old ass car but like i said you know the car runs really well let me go ahead and pop the hatch i like that it has this feature it's pretty cool and it's funny because it's got a push down button for the gas but it's kind of useless since the gas thing doesn't even fucking close it just stays open all the time so it is what it is it's from the 80s and so then once you pop it you just grab it from right here gonna lift this bad boy up that's that notorious hatch yeah this carpet did not do well it's fucking terrible but that's the original license plate that was on it it's pretty cool i mean this is my temporary, but I'm getting mine soon. It's just going to be basic white ones, but probably change it to black. The thing that, about these cool old cars is they come with shit like this, you know, full tool sets. It's not really something you see in new cars typically nowadays unless you pay for it. But this was standard. This is a basic car from the 80s. This shit, you know, no rust at all. This is a major spot where you want to check for rust in this car. You know, it kind of sucks because the shocks are shot to shit but sh <sighs> shocks or uh fuck i don't know what you would call those but they're, they're cheap i found them on the internet already 30 bucks not that bad but yeah this car is really cool you know i have a lot of cool plans for it let me go ahead and turn it on you guys can go ahead and hear what it sounds like let's go ahead and sit in here <sighs> so i'm six foot one and i weigh 250 pounds and I barely fit in this car. The steering wheel does not move at all. It's positioned where it's at, and that's that's that. Um, and then you got your e-brake, your five-speed, and then you got your gauges, and then yeah, it's it's nice. I really love this car. Sadly, I got to get a mirror for that side, but you know you could see around pretty well, so enough to drive it. Anyways, let's start it up. Clutch. Wow. That started like a fucking beauty. Another thing is, this car's fuel gauge does not fucking work. I don't know why. It's sometimes it works on the freeway randomly, but it doesn't work all the time. But I know this car has gas. I just went to Costco the other day, so. Yeah. And for the most part, you know, it's, it's really good. Like, I haven't had one complaint about it yet. Let's go ahead and turn it off. The one thing about it is though, is uh, I have to get a new timing belt and a water pump, but I'm gonna be getting that pretty soon. But besides that, the car is, you know, it's a good car. It runs really nice. So stay tuned. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of crazy shit to this car. If you're a Z31 fan, or you know, if you wanna get into Z31s and you wanna hear some facts, because I now own this car, so I'm gonna be going through a bunch of trials and tribulations. Watch the page, subscribe, you know, if you have any questions, you could hit my line. I know quite a bit about cars. So if you're trying to get a Z31, let me just tell you this though. Parts are hard to find and it's expensive when you do find a part because it's usually from some dickhead who wants to overcharge for it because this is such an old car. And daily people crash cars. So the number of Z31s that are alive in the world is just slowly diminishing down and down and down. Like, for example, the engine rebuild kits that DNJ makes for this car are, are sold out everywhere that I've tried to find one. So when this engine blows, I'm probably just going to LS swap it because I really don't want to get rid of this car. Like, it's just, it's so cool. Like, and it's in such good condition. But stay tuned and I will catch you later.